morning. Today we're at Salt Air and we are going to see an exhibition up at Salt Mills. Salt Air is an interesting place. It was built by Titus Salt on the River Air, which is where Salt Air comes from. And it was um, a village of houses built for the workers um, with everything except a pub. There's a pub now, of course, but it's a really nice um, sort of small, well, it would have been a, a village. It's, it's part of Shipley now, really, but the houses, although small, are solid and they've all got nice architectural points about them. I'll show you those later. Anyway, off to Salt Mills. Salt Mills are a very impressive buildings. They're huge and solid. And the great thing about this exhibition we're going to see, which is the David Hockney, a year in Normandy, very close to our heart, is that it's free. As soon as you get into the first room at Salt Mills, you're in a huge art shop. And on the wall are these portraits done by David Hockney. All the pictures in this exhibition are done on his iPad. We go up the stairs and we come up to the next floor and in there it's a big bookstore and at the end there's a diner and a shop that sells kitchen equipment all very nice <laughs> as you go through there there's this room with this beautiful light coming through the windows and a very large exhibition is being set up I couldn't see who the artist was but this was just part of a huge body of work that was being put up for him or her and in the middle this fantastic ceramic panel that was made in terracotta showing the salt mills and all the land around salt air really well done on the floor above that was history of the area and this model was made by local university architecture students Salt Mill was designed as a vertical mill and produced cloth and it could take all its raw ingredients from the canal below. 3,000 people roughly worked here. This is a good picture of them. And when it was finished, it was the largest mill in Europe. I really like these murals that ran around the wall. I like the way they've been presented with the black frame, like you're peering through to see the workers. On the floor above that was the first of the big Hockney exhibitions and this one was made in 2011 and each painting depicts a day from January the 1st to May the 31st. He considers it to be one of his most important um, bodies of work. It's really interesting to see how all the days change I think these were done in Bridlington, which is in Yorkshire, where he comes from. A lot of this video is going to be David Hockney's paintings, so you'll have to indulge me. I really enjoyed them. Now this next piece of work I found mesmerising. He put nine cameras around a 4x4 four four and then drove really slowly through the countryside and synchronised all the images afterwards. So you see everything coming towards you really slowly and then passing as if you were actually in the vehicle at the time. You could sit and watch it for ages. Coming up to the fourth floor now and peeking out the windows you can see how the mill is placed in the countryside around. This is just part of it. Mm -hmm. 
and then nearly at the top and we come to a year in Normandy. We were particularly interested to see this because we lived for many years in Normandy so it's very close to our heart and as you walk around this mural which is over 90 meters long I think it's like walking past the Bayer tapestry which is also in Normandy. This is his largest ever piece of work and I think it was done in about 2020 and you can see all the seasons changing so I'll just leave you with it while I walk around the rest. And then finally we come up to the roof space and there's an ex exhibition here by Ian Beasley 
and it's a photographic display of the people who lived here over the years, the jobs they did and what happened to them and the buildings. The most disturbing pictures were of the asylum and the lady coming up next had an illegitimate child when she was young and spent the rest of her days in the asylum and the men pictured below her were considered degenerate or alcoholic or homeless and they spent their life in the asylum as well. Pictures full of despair really. Towards the end of the exhibition are pictures of more, more contemporary pictures and they're far more heartening to see. And then back out on the street and these are some of the houses built by Titus Salt with lovely details like arched windows and doors. I guess these houses would have been well, the more middle class of the time. What we call line managers these days, I suppose, overseers. Or something like that, I'm just guessing. Little columns on the doors. Well, that was our trip to Salt Mills and salt air an amazing place to go to especially if it was a rainy day you could spend the whole day in salt mills there's well how many floors was there eight four or five five floors you can eat there there's a great diner there's a restaurant you could buy any number of things but just so much history and art in there and of course it's all about the Hockney really so I shall probably finish this video here we are making our way slowly down to Leeds now you can get an idea of the scale of the mill buildings around here And the conversion is excellent, absolutely brilliant use of the space. So this is the building that we've just been in. So that's it for now. Have a good week and see you on the next video. Bye for now.